fellow Ugandans, I greet you all and continue to pray and hope for good health and prosperity for us all. The last two years have been very difficult as we faced and continue to face the COVID-19 pandemic. But I congratulate all those who have gone through it unscathed and those who got it and survived it. And I extend my deepest condolences to those who lost their loved ones. I want to encourage us all to continue to abide by the current standard operating procedures that are intended to continue keeping us safe and ultimately save lives because we are not yet out of the woods, as you all know. The effects of this pandemic have been far-reaching in so many ways. Following the COVID-19 restrictions, we saw a shocking increase in the number of teenage pregnancies across the country. The statistics are appalling, as all of you agree with me, I'm sure. There is a public outcry that many of our school-going girls became pregnant due the, to the closure of schools and institutions. What this has demonstrated, unfortunately, is the weaknesses in our efforts to nurture and to protect our children adequately and collectively. As a mother and a grandmother myself, I want to once again remind us and emphasize that the safety of our children lie with all of the adult Ugandans. There are solutions both for the prevention of and response to the challenge of teenage pregnancy and teenage motherhood. These lie in the passing on of life skills while children are growing up. Evidence shows that when young people are equipped with accurate, relevant, and age-appropriate information for life, they can think critically, make right decisions, communicate better, and so we should invest in learning how to pass on these skills in order to raise responsible and fulfilled citizens. Let us commit to be the role models and repeatedly talk about these life matters to our children at home, at school, everywhere where they are, there are adults with them. Let us continue to talk to our children about these matters. We need to help these young people to define their own vision and goals and to focus on that. How to choose the right peer groups and make appropriate choices. We also cannot afford to shy away from talking about issues of sexuality. We cannot afford to leave this subject out. We have to talk to our children about sexuality as they grow. Girls and boys cannot be left alone to fend for themselves without the tools and knowledge to make informed and safe choices. Parents, you are the first line of defense for these precious children. It is our God-given obligation to invest, to love, and to train these children. These girls need to find their homes as the safest place to be, to live. They need to get empowered to know that the safest place to be is their home. Let us find parenting tools to help us in carrying out this duty effectively. Let us all work together to ensure that our children are safe, including monitoring, information which they access through the media, especially the internet and the friends that they keep. Teachers, you know that the schools provide an amazing environment for children to grow 
holistically together. No child should be taken advantage of while at school. They must all grow both academically, morally, and ethically. I also call upon religious and cultural leaders to leverage their platforms and influence to promote morals and mutual accountability in all communities of Uganda. For I believe that this is their assignment from God himself. Let conversations about what is acceptable and what is not acceptable happen often in local environments. Bylaws may have to be developed to protect children, especially girls, that often become victims of child marriages, of rape and defilement. No defiler or rapist should go scorch free in our communities. Collective responsibility can wipe out this issue in our communities. It takes a village to raise these children. To the young people, I say focus on your education and on acquiring life skills for your well-being. Avoid predisposing factors to, se to sensuality and sexual indiscipline. You can abstain until marriage. Allow yourself to mature so as to make appropriate adult decisions. Sexual purity is the safest way to go through young life, purposefully, and it is possible. Watch out on foreign cultures that promote sexual activity as a casual activity because it is not. Immature sexual indulgences end up with dire consequences. Keep safe. Keep focused for God's sake. It is your life. Guard it jealously. Now law enforcement officers, local governments, civil society organizations arise to the challenges facing us in this regard and ensure that laws and programs that have been in place for the protection of children are being implemented. No child should be either a mother or a bride. No child should acquire HIV and AIDS, and no child should miss a chance to complete school, to become empowered uh, adults for a better world. This is why I'm reintroducing the ABC strategy, with mean, which means A, abstinence, B, being faithful in marriage, and C, condom use if necessary, because HIV and AIDS is a deadly enemy, and sex outside marriage is dangerous. No child should be left in that danger zone. Government has done well in putting laws, policies, and regulations for the empowerment of the girl child and every child for that matter. Let reinforcement happen for a better citizenry. Through tools for life skills developed by Ministry of Education and Sports, schools will increase their efforts in balancing academic achievement and value uh, development. We shall continue to ensure that all our education institutions continuously provide the essential knowledge and skills for our children to become healthy and responsible adults. For child mothers, the ministry has developed guidelines for re-entry into school life. Most of these children have got pregnant by no fault of theirs. Many were raped and defiled let us all work together to be gracious to these children and give them a second chance at schooling. Let us support them morally and materially so that they can complete school and be better empowered to look after their children in future. And currently, we have jointed efforts with Her Excellency the Vice President 
and the Prime Minister and other willing mothers and adults to spearhead a national campaign against teenage pregnancy and related vices. Join us in fighting this unfortunate phenomenon and safeguard our nation's future. Finally, I'd like to appreciate all the people and sectors that have come on board to do something about this matter of teenage pregnancy. May the good Lord bless the works of your hands. May many more individuals and groups and fathers, men, brothers who are willing to come alongside us, may they all come uh, together and join hands to handle this challenge once and for all. In conclusion, I once again call upon all national and local leaders, parents and caregivers, teachers, religious and cultural leaders to come together for the sake of the girl child in our country. I thank you and God bless you all. <laughs>